We're certified crazy. Yep. <laughs> we bought something else, y'all. We needed a truck for uh, the hangar in Arkansas and Aaron has been scouring the internet for the perfect truck and he's found it. Yep. We can't wait to show it to you guys. We'll need some work, but we can do that. That's kind of our jam. Need to borrow your headphones. I can't hear anything in there. <laughs> How's it's it drive? Really loud. Good. Clutch is stiff. Yeah. But it releases pretty far at the top. I need to see if I can adjust it, but other than that, we're good. Oh, uh, I like it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now we can talk. I'm going to follow you. You're going to follow me? What if you break down? Well, then turn around and come get me. <laughs> I don't have a way to navigate in there okay. easily. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Alrighty. Off we go then. <laughs> Drives good. AC works. It's smooth. It's comfortable. It's a little underpowered, but we can fix that with this, which we're about to do. He okay. said it's good for 70 horse, right? That's what he said. <gasps> Stoked. Just can't stand it. <laughs> no. Logan trailer. No, no, not right now. It's installed. <laughs> we'll see if it works. Give me a rev. Oh, those bees sounded really good. We got Finley. He had to come. Come on, bud. <laughs> oh, dang. It's time for a transmission. Luckily, we got one in the back. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Second gear synchro? Second gear and second to third. First to second, second to third. It's pretty rough. He's pulling. 
pulling over because he wants me to take a <laughs> take a spin in it. Gear is a little bit tricky until we get a new transmission in it. But. I think I want my seat further up. Ooh! <laughs> I didn't put it into gear and I was about to. I was pushing the clutch in. <laughs> it was not smart. <laughs> made a mistake when he put this in the spline was wrong yep. he straight axle swapped it so i'm excited about that it's less work i have to do that's a dirty window oh no that is such a dirty windshield how did you manage driving this all the way home from dallas don't power shift it emily no it'll still grind on you though the synchros are just gone oh my gosh i really like this truck <laughs> you just gotta go easy on the next one. It's worn out. It's all right. <laughs> and the clutch releases so high up at the top that all of a sudden it's releasing and you feel like it should have already released for you. How was that, Dave? That was smooth. That was a good one. All righty, it's a new day and we are gonna tinker with this truck a little bit. We've got a handful of things that we want to look at. Um, the emergency brake is not working and we need that for an inspection sticker. So we're going to pull it around to the shop and do a little bit of poking around on it. <laughs> Had it warmed up, huh? You took it to the store earlier, didn't you? Yep. This is also happening. It's my dad's birthday. So we're gonna celebrate later. I was just thinking how cool it would be if the Bronco sounded like this. Well, I thought about doing that. I don't know, it just has a different sort of presence. Than, oh, it does. V8 gas engine. Yep. <sighs> One can dream. Got a little rust over here to fix. So here's what's important about this truck. That is a short bed and it is four wheel drive. That's why it took me so long to find it at the right price. Yep. And we really wanted a four door, but we like the extended cab still. It still has the functionality of a four door. Um, and we needed a truck that was short enough that would go inside the hangar in Arkansas and a four door long bed is too long. So this is the perfect little base for us. And it's so good. It, it's uh, ugly in, in the right places where we bought it cheap. You know, it was like, it's not a cosmetically perfect truck. So it was more of our price point. We got it for 9,000 and we actually got it with a lot of spare parts. We loaded it all up yesterday as we picked it up from the guy, Nick, that we purchased it from. We got a whole nother transmission that's yep. supposed to be in pretty good shape. Apparently it's a reman. It's, you can tell it's has been done quite a while ago. We got an uncracked case, which is a big problem on these. Transfer case that's in good condition. Yep. What else? Uh, a couple of doors because we don't know if something happened with the hinges on the doors that are on it and the doors and fenders are both buckled and pretty ugly. So we got two new doors and two new fenders and a newish carpet kit, at least a better-ish carpet kit. Yeah. I guess this is dark gray, the carpet in there is 
lighter gray. Yeah, when he replaced the clutch, he had to cut the carpet. Yeah, yeah, he so. didn't realize that the like transmission plate, trans tunnel plate needed to come off, so he just like cut the carpet. And, um, so he gave us that fresh, better carpet. And we got a new back window because that sliding back window is busted mm -hmm. and he has a smooth back window for it. And that's in the back. Yep, right there. We have two shocks for the back, brand new ones. He already put the ones on the front. Because he straight axle swapped it. Yes, he did. Yeah. So he never really drove the truck. He bought it and had it for like four months and he did a bunch of modifications to it that he wanted to do. Um, the tune, the stru straight axle swap. Um, let's see, he did a turbo down pipe and fresh Up turbo pipes. seals. Up pipes too. Up pipes as well. Yep. Yeah, it's got a lot of good parts on it and he also did a clutch. What else? New wheels and tires. Yeah. So it's got a lot of good parts on it and Aaron says it drives really, really well and I drove it and I say the same. It drives great. We are happy kids. This yep. is awesome. Yeah, as soon as we get around to doing this paint, we have a pretty good dent right there. We'll fix that. This will all be fixed by putting the new fenders and doors on. And then we'll spray it whatever color we want. And it'll be fine. We need to add some cab lights too, I think. Yeah, I think it needs some, some macho truck lights. <laughs> I think we should start attacking uh, the emergency brake situation on this thing, figure out how to adjust it so that it can work because really everything else works on this dang thing. It's pretty awesome. The headlights work, the blinkers work. I wasn't able to check the brake lights because I was by myself, but everything works. Windshield wipers work. Really the only hang up is the transmission doesn't like shift. We'll fix that. Let's get the emergency brake working. Let's do it. Go set your brake, your emergency brake. Okay. Let's see if it catches. Okay, it's down. Okay. Let it off. Alright, I think that side's set good enough. I'm going to move the jack because it's heavy to that side. I think that'll hold it. Let's give it a shot. So depress it all the way down as far as we go. Put it in gear and see if it makes it load. So it appears that the rear drums were just super loose. There's a little adjuster with a star wheel. It'll go one way, but it won't go back the other way. It's got like a, a little arm and a spring on it. So I just spun it until I felt a little bit of drag in the wheel and then left it there because I didn't want to make it too tight where it's dragging all the time. Apparently that's what it needed because emergency brake works now and it's probably gonna stop better too because it was, I thought it was a little bit mushy. I mean, it stopped, but but it was a little mushy, so I think that part's done and it's ready for an inspection sticker. I mean, everything else worked, so we just have to unload the truck, get all the parts out of it, and then maybe tomorrow go get it inspected. That'd be cool. Aaron has been getting a ton of yard work done this weekend. It's so good. And he cleaned up a big pile of scrap wood so he's getting ready to unload it and he used the new truck.
Well, in driving around town, Aaron found out that the horn doesn't work. So he's been on the mission of trying to fix that this morning. Yep, I'm supposed to push here, doesn't do anything. I checked out there, I'll show you. The horns are good, but they're not getting power. So these ground through the body. That's the sound of a ground. Here is where the 12 volts should be. So I, I have no interest in going into that steering wheel and the steering column and all that. There's a bunch of wires. So I'm just gonna put a button in. All I need is an inspection sticker. So I bought this little button. I just used the screw that was already there. It's ugly, but who cares? So I'm just gonna wire that in. I've got a clean power over here. Basically you just put 12 volts of those horns and it'll work. Aw, <laughs> shout out to our buddy, Aaron Harden for sending Aaron this awesome headlight. I can figure out how to turn it on. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Dang. It's like a light bar for your forehead. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Let's see if that'll grip in there. The dash on this truck is really nice. He had it all redone. It just, it's really clean. Looking forward to the darker carpet kit we got for it. I'm going to put this in here and then I'll put a fuse in between it, go straight to my button, and one wire goes straight out the firewall over to the horns. We should have horns. Sweet. Yeah. That wire stripper works so good. That's from Wire Care. It's an awesome stripper. Mm -hmm. And these crimpers are cool because they hold your butt connector steady. That way you can get your wires set. Pretty neato. Got it. There's a hole in here where he put the pyrometer in, so I'm just going to use that. This tool has a cutting feature right down there and a stripping feature that strips it. Pretty awesome. Little dial so you can set what depth you want your strip at. I'll link it in the description. Perfectly concealed. Connect it right down there to the horn. He's gonna go get a spade connector. And then it should be inspection sticker time. Okay, go try it. Nicely done. All right. Oh, we got a confusion. I forgot. Okay. Okay. Key on? No. That's legal, I think. <laughs> Send your wife to get your inspection stickers. That's the rule. You think I'll have more success than you? Absolutely. <laughs> yep. But if it's legal, then it's legal. It shouldn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, not only me, but the kid. She's getting inspected. It's gonna pass, I'm just sure of it. Signed off. We're good to go. She's inspected. Wow, that was something too. <laughs> I know. <laughs>
All right, we're in four low. Ready for summertime. <laughs> He's standing on a rock. Maddie, did you go for a swim? He's like, yes, in fact I did. It felt great. Yes. Yeah, you need fishing poles for sure. Dang. Finley, you are one funny creature. You are so funny. Creature is something. Oh. <laughs> uh, I tried. I made it. Good job. Nicely done. While we were getting the truck inspected, Aaron was eating lunch. So he already ate, so the kid and I are very hungry. Yes. I got a spicy tuna roll, and the kid got this fully loaded assortment of deliciousness. It's like the four wheel drive's working. I put it in low range and. It just kind of crawled around. What, dog? <coughs> what? No, not much here. You're wet. Yes, Yum. I'm about to be on fire with this amount of wasabi on this piece of I sushi. I just got a little bit. It's pretty dang good. Tell us in the comment section if you're a sushi person or not. I am. Hey. <laughs> nice and hot. Oh goodness. Did you make a mess? No. <laughs> we had a very tasty lunch and now we're gonna go on a little walk down by the lake. adventuring. The lake is down a little bit so this is like an area where we never come and it's kind of cool. Take it on home. We'll see y'all back at the house. Well, as y'all know, we've bought a handful of cars this month. Well, I guess it's April now. So the past couple of months, mm -hmm. we've bought a handful of cars. And it's kind of like when you have the opportunity, you gotta jump on it. So we've just had a lot of opportunities recently. So. This truck is no exception. We are so excited to have it. It runs so good. It's already been on adventures. And we're gonna have a blast making it better. And you guys will come along with us for that ride. It's gonna be awesome. 
We're so grateful for you guys and we appreciate all the likes, all the comments, and especially you taking the time to subscribe. We sure look forward to seeing you on the next episode.